Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we can take a look at the DJI Spark and what happens if you cannot get the IMU calibrated. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, today we can take a look at the DJI Spark and this one just does not want to calibrate and I'll show you guys the error on the screen shortly. Um, but if you guys find the content that I'm making useful, please consider clicking the subscribe button below. Um, there's also some affiliate links below. If you guys find anything useful down there, it really does help out the channel. And yeah, if you want to power on the drone, and then we're going to connect to it via the go for app. And this is just going to show you guys, let's beep up, show you guys the area that we're getting. So you're going to go to DJI app. Now, obviously, you need to put the drone into Wi-Fi mode. So how you do that is you just hold the button in the rear, wait for the first beep, and then you wait for the second two beeps. Here we go. So now it's in Wi-Fi mode. So if you go to your phone, you're just going to wait for the spark to pop up. There we go. For those of you guys that are wondering what the password is, it's typically written on the box or below the battery of your Spark. So just write that down. And okay, so just leave it on and it should automatically update in your Go4 app as well, as you guys can see. I always say ignore fly safe database because that's your no-fly zones. So you don't want to update that. Anyway, so I'm going to quickly go into the Go Fly mode and you're going to see that I have an error message over here. And if I tap on it, it's got a lot of IMU calibration errors at the moment. So uh, what I'm going to do is let me just get a screenshot of that so that we can put this on the screen so that everyone can see exactly what I mean by this. There we go. Screenshot saved. Perfect. Okay. So that's that. Go to the, uh, the drone settings. Three, so three dots on the top right. Tap on the drone icon on the top right, uh, top left. Scroll down to the bottom click advanced setting and then you'll see there's going to be sensor state now in this case you're going to see calibration failed in my imu status now we don't worry about the compass yet we're indoors so it doesn't make a difference go to imu and then select imu calibration and when you click start you can just follow the instructions on the screen so in this case i'm just physically going to follow the instructions on the screen as you guys can see and no need to really remove your propellers you can just leave it on the side so just leave it like that and we're going to run through the whole process so you guys can see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to forward this little bit until we get to the error message. So just give it a second. And then you guys can see the error. I'm just going to take it up to the camera so you can hopefully see. Let's see if the zoom on the camera is actually able to work. If it doesn't work, I'll just put a screenshot on. As you guys can see, that is the error message that you're getting. So the issue is, is that the IMU is completely whack. Okay, so it's completely out of sync and we need to get it back in. So as you guys can see, it's now an error state. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the drone onto its rear little legs like that. Click start. And I'm essentially doing the calibration again, but this time the drone is in a different position than explained. So as you can see, we're supposed to have a level but now obviously I've got it vertically. So horizontally versus vertically. So we're just going to see if we can get the IMU to calibrate at least one stage. If it can, we can go through the whole process and we can get the whole thing recalibrated again afterwards. But first we just need to get some sort of calibration done. We just have to get it within the range of what the app can accept because the app has certain ranges and if it goes out of that range it just says it's completely out of sync it can't do it and you have to send it in for calibration but this is a way to get around that let's give it a second so we can run through again i'll forward this bit again And then you guys can see, please manually restart the aircraft. So that seems something has happened. So I'm just going to turn it off. Turn it back on again. Once it's powered up. Wi-Fi mode. 
Okay, so let's see if it works now. As you can see, it still says IMU calibration required. All those errors are still there. So remember, we went halfway through, we got an error, and now we're going to try and see if we can go through the whole process. Just waiting for the app to actually catch up. There we go. Okay. You can see it's a completely different orientation than it's supposed to be. We're just going to see if it goes all the way through. Okay, we're still getting some issues here. Okay, let's go to the calibration. different side as you guys can see now it's changed its direction you can see the lights flashing so let's just continue the IMU calibration according to what is going on the screen so sometimes you can see you can try the upside down you can try the other way around and see what's going on now this works with uh, Mavics, I've done this with Phantoms, I've done it with quite a few other drones as well. Let me just get this thing done. We're going to do this calibration. Okay, so as you guys can see, we've now gone to the next stage. Flip it over. And we just follow the prompts. There we go. Almost done. Okay, almost done. As you guys can see, it's now calibrating the IMU. Last final steps. And it says manually restart the aircraft. Okay, but we can already see the IMU has calibrated. As you guys can see over there, it's done. So let's just quickly restart and confirm that all is well. As I've said, I've done this on a Mavic, a Phantom, a Mavic Air, as well as obviously the Spark, as you guys can see in this video over here. So just click that button in, put it in Wi Fi mode again. Remember with a Phantom and Mavic, you've got a cable connection, so there's no need for you to use the Wi-Fi command. Okay, so let's wait for connection. As you guys can see, the error message is now gone. You can tap on the top screen, no more error messages anymore. Okay, so yep, that's how we fixed it. Nice and easy, quick way. You don't need to send it into a repair shop and obviously pay someone to get this fixed wait for my phone to catch up and let's go to sensor state as you guys can see my sensor state is good as well okay so all that remains is just to do it maybe a compass calibration outside and then go test it i hope this guys find this useful um, this is something that a lot of guys have had issues with obviously with the mavics the phantoms the mavic airs all of those drones so i hope this can save you guys some money please consider to click the subscribe button and comment below if you guys have any feedback or questions, anything like that. And also if you guys have anything that you guys would like to take a look at, there's also the affiliate links below. I really do appreciate every little bit of help you guys give me on the channel and it really makes us grow and it makes us make better content. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next one.